What's up? Hey, hey, hey. So I, you know, I'm a vet from back in 84 is when I went in, but okay. I, I was one of those, I went for the college and career route. I didn't stay in. I said, I'm not a lifer in this. Mostly because I saw the women that guys were marrying. I'm like, I don't want one of those. Yeah, so I just thought I was going to go home and find my beauty queen, you know? I yeah. did the same and, thing, man. You didn't want to say it's so special? <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. So, I, I mean, I went home and I was going to college and I met the woman of my dreams, I thought. You know, we, woman we were made to. We were made to. Shut 13 the years. Bad bullshit because it never fucking works. <laughs> exactly. Well, well I was, we were married for 13 years and had three kids. I thought well, everything was going great till the day I could, we had problems. You know, everyone fights, everyone has issues. When I did come home and the house was empty, I was like, what happened? But yeah, um, that's your second review, Tumbleweed. <laughs> it was terrible. But see, I didn't learn from that one. No, I had to go. We're at number two. Oh, no. <laughs> about, about a year and a half later, I'm like, well, I got three kids, and I, this I girl's got three kids, so hey, we're going to have to be. Gonna, I'm going to have to yell at you. <laughs> Here it comes. All right, so, all right, hang on. Right. 13 years. You you are you are aware of the time it takes to cover from that. It's literally, uh, it, what is it, three months per year you're married, or maybe six months per so you should not have actually been shopping for more pussy until three or five years to pass by. But you go right up there for the fucking Kmart Blue Light Special and pick up another piece of Sour Mash. <laughs> All right? It's fucked up. It is. That's but twice. <laughs> I, I wanted the Brady Bunch special. I mean, I had three oh, kids. She no. had three kids. This no. is going to be the Brady Bunch special. It's going to be great. Oh, God. It was a freaking nightmare. Yep. <laughs> Only lasted two years. So I was like, well, okay. You know, but I learned how to pull the ripcord finally. I didn't stay till the end when everything was gone. I was the one who beat feet because I realized you got to always have an option B. When I divorced, when when the divorce was final with my first wife and everything else, I'm looking around. I got nothing. I'm like, where am I going to live? I got a motor home and I had an RV. So mm -hmm. I never got rid of the RV. I still oh, yeah. have it because that was always like I could pull the ripcord and I had a landing site. So it was always okay. And that I will say to anybody, if you don't have a landing site, get one because you're going to need to fall somewhere when you finally – Dude, bail on the relationship. Yep. All right, man. Well, hey, thanks for letting us know, man. And then uh, glad you're watching Let's... the show there, Nomad. Right on, guys. You all, all right. have a good evening now. Watch Corn Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.